Okay, so I am back and I've added the Courier's Stash uh, DLC um, to it. So we've got the Mercenaries Pack, yeah, Lightweight Metal Armor, Mercenaries Grenade Rifle, Classic Pack, um, Gunrunner's Arsenal, that was already installed anyway. Uh, it just gives extra um, weapons to the uh, merchants that are around the place. Uh, Tribal Pack. Caravan pack. There's Victor rolling on by over there. We'll catch up with him in a second. Once it's all loaded up. This is good springs. Come on. There we go. Okay, so we now have quite a lot of extra goodies. Um, binoculars, the machete, which is uh, the broad machete, which is my favourite uh, weapon in the game. There's the grenade rifle. Uh, comes in handy. And the spears, and I like the spears because you can put venom on them and uh, make them poisonous. Um, we also have an armoured vault suit. Which looks like that. Let's, uh, let's have a proper look around on it. Uh, we have lightweight metal armour. Oh, stop flicking back. Looks like that. And we have... Right. Right. My controls are pissing me off controller's just being not responsive at all which is kind of slutty and Madonna ain't got nothing on my bra oh no but I like the I like this one the lightweight leather armour and will you stop flicking off you piece of crap there we go lightweight leather armour um, a broad machete the other stuff I tend to sell and not really use, um, but I like having the courier pack because I like the courier stash because I like uh, I like the machete. The machete is my favourite weapon. This one, this broad machete. Um, so we're gonna follow Victor. Where did he go? He's headed up there towards the. Uh, Towards the graveyard. We should come up. Hmm. Where is he? Where is he? Have we missed him? Because I've been standing around. He usually heads straight up for the graveyard. Is he already up there? Have I been wasting so much time that he's already up here? Victor 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 oh yep yeah, here he is uh, here he comes looking at my grave howdy partner might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle I'm a securitron Robco security model 2060B if you ever see any of my brothers tell them Victor says howdy well do. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Don't Cheers. mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Happy trails! There, I'll say it for him, since he didn't say it himself. It was Victor. Creepy bastard. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Victor keeps on rolling. He's a creepy asshole. Rawhide! Right now, this birdie. 
find him something interesting. Okay. And on the ground we have some distinctive cigarette butts. Pick them up because they're going to come in handy later on. Um, there's nothing else really that we can uh, do up here just yet. This is my grave. Yep. And this is where I'm, this is where I was buried. Oh yeah. But I am back from the dead. I am a zombie. Very attractive zombie. With a tight little ass and a big ass knife on my hip. Yep. That is how I roll. Off you go, Victor. Okay, so uh, we need to go and speak to Sunny Smiles. We'll go to the store a little bit later on and um, I don't think I need to actually hide to open this door uh, and get a shovel when we go back up to the cemetery and we can do some grave robbing. I'm not shitting you. I'm going to rob some graves. Piss off all the... Very easy and I broke it. I am losing karma because I am a trespasser little monkey and I'm stealing stuff. <gasps> They're bootlegging. Okay. So I'm come back around this way. And we're going to come in through this door here which is another locked door but by the magic of stealth I'm gonna crouch down and become invisible that is sneaky sneaky there we go sneaking sneaking Oh, now you can stop sneaking. I'm gonna hack the shit out of this terminal and uh, do some naughty things. Stamina. Okay, that's not right. No. Maybe actually. No. Okay, so it is an ink word. Uh, no. Just bear with me. This might take a little while. No. Mm, I don't think so. Hmm. No! Yeah, I'm not very good at this hacking malarkey. But it gets you, uh, gets you things that you couldn't get otherwise, so. And this is supposed to be very easy. Very easy, my ass. Hmm. Excuse me. One of seven. Fuck off. Uh, so it's not that one. Two of seven. Really, really, really making me work for this, aren't you? Okay, I'm just backing out so that I don't get locked out of it. My karma is going to suffer like fuck. Because every time I come back into this, I lose karma. This may take me a little bit of time. Three. Stamina.
There we go. Only took me about 50 tries. I'm not great at hacking terminals, but this uh, safe here was uh, a very hard lock, and my lockpick skill isn't quite up there yet, so. Um. I'll have a sledgehammer, thank you very much. I'm stealing stuff, big warp wanna fight about it. Salesman weekly and meeting people. Awesome. Not doing anything, not doing a damn Hello. thing. Can I Hello. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Oh, well, if she does, I'll wear her as a coat. How about that? I hunt geckos mostly. The meat's pretty good and I can always find a buyer for the hides. Mm -hmm. I also help keep the town clear of rad scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in good springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. Sure, what do you want to know? Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. The coyotes are pretty dangerous in large packs, but otherwise they're nothing to really worry about. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty bite. I've heard about bigger, nastier versions out in the wasteland, but I've never seen them. Stick to the roads when you can, and steer clear of the hills north of Good Springs. The critters up there are big and poisonous. Mm, yes, they are. Southeast of here is Prim. Can't miss it. Since it has the giant old roller coaster right in the middle of town. The NCR's got an outpost there. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. They mine rocks or something, but I heard they got troubles lately. I wouldn't head that direction if I were you, though. Got critters up there that don't take kindly to getting shot. Nope. The new California Republic. Bunch of settlers and soldiers coming in from the west, fixing on making Nevada their own. They can be right pushy, but the roads are safer because of them, so I tend to let it go. Not that I got a choice. Well, the wildlife for one thing, rowdy locals for another. They're protecting their own. Just happens to help us. They've been holding off this other group from the east, too. What do you know about this other group? Got a funny name. Call themselves Caesar's Legion. Never seen them in these parts, so I couldn't tell you much. I hear rumors, that's about it. Supposedly, they keep slaves and they got some real nasty ways of killing folks. But maybe that's just something folks in the NCR cooked up to make themselves seem more useful here. Less uninvited. Sonny, I have a question for you. Um... Do you ever get out of Good Springs? Only because every single conversation you tend to have with her, she's like, some folks say this, but I've never seen them. So there's some folks say about this, but I've never seen Maybe if you got out there in the wasteland, you could see the big critters for yourself. Maybe shoot them. Maybe that'd make you happier and your smile's even sunnier. Or maybe you could, uh, I don't know, tell the NCR to fuck off or, you know, go and see what Caesar's Legion are up to yourself. I don't know. You know, it's a big world out there, Sonny. The world is bigger than Good Springs. If you want to know anything else, just ask. Okay. Just saying, my lovely. Not in Good Springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. A magazine on locksmiths? If the lock's too much for you to handle, reading through the magazine might give you the edge you need. Bobby pins? You'll need those to pick the lock. Be careful, though. Put too much pressure on them, and they'll snap. Oh, why, well, thank you very much. If you hadn't given me these things, I wouldn't know how to pick a lock. Not at all. Always happy to help someone down on their luck. Oh, aren't you a sweetheart? Uh, she's already told us how to get to Prim, so... Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Excuse me? I'll have you know I'm not that kind of lady. <laughs> I think Sonny Smiles is propositioning me. Howdy. Hello. Stop looking at me. Oh, okay. Now, 
See the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. I got myself a varmint rifle. That's the right idea. Try crouching. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Sure. Sounds like a great idea and maybe we can braid each other's hair and tell each other stories about our boyfriends and our periods. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. I'm coming, but first I'm gonna put away the shitty gun you gave me and, uh, out my knife. This is a knife. Oh, yeah. Cheyenne. The most stupidest dog in the world. That's prancing. All the grace of a arthritic monkey deer. I, I don't know. Oh, Sunny. She's a nice little girl. Friendly little folks. Maybe we should get her husband. I don't know, she seems quite happy with her dog. Maybe we should kill the dog and get her husband because she'll be lonely. No. The voices in my head keep telling me to do nasty things. Stop it, voices in my head. Sonny doesn't want a husband. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay, you go that way, and I'll go this way. Okay. She, she says sneak, but uh... She hides there anyway. There's not a huge point in sneaking. Um, because they're going to see me as soon as I come into the line of sight. Anyway, my sneak isn't that big and I'm using melee. So I think I've just come up the hill rather than around. Yes, I did. I'm going to I'm gonna flank you, see. So. Where's your little booty? Come on, you. Fuck oh, you. That's why I love my knife. Mmm. Sheddy for days, you can get hides and meat from them. Actually, I'm gonna take the hide. I don't want the meat. I don't eat irradiated meat shite. Nope. There's no water here. There's water here and it's not even eradicated. Eradicated? Irradiated. There we go. Sunny did nothing. She's just hiding around here like a scared little woman. Here she is. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. To you? What about me? Okay. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Okay. Come with me. Sunny, I think you should reapply your lipstick. It is all over your face. Just saying. Just saying. Come at me, bros! They're gonna try and ignore me and go for them. Oh, get those are the most cutest things in the world! They are cute. Especially when they hold their heads because they've been hitting the head. I don't want to go for it. I'll take the hide though. Where are you going, Sonny? Where are you going? Hey, wait up. Oh, there's a woman being attacked down here. I'm gonna use bats. I'm gonna... I'm for you. And you. 
Stab you. Stab you. Stab you. Saved your life. Oh. Oh, you're alright there, dearie. You okay? Oh, look. Look at her. She's a little bit limping. Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you'd done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Yeah, sure thing. Go see Doc Mitchell and patch up that leg. Poor bitch. I got some reputation. They love me. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Why not? All right, then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Okay. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Sure. I have level up. That man melee at a th even 30. My lockpick needs to go up. Um, science can go to 40. Oh. Is that all my points? Oh, yeah. Put my sneak to 20. There we go. I'm gonna take the Black Widow perk. By campfire on the trail. Oh, this poor woman. I feel so sorry for you. Hey there. If I could give you medical supplies, I would, but I can't. And I don't want to. Okay, so. Um. Sonny wants us to go and find some ingredients so we can cook some. toast some marshmallows at the campfire. Braid each other's hair and, uh. tell horror stories. Giggle over the first time we kissed a boy. I could fast travel up to um, the graveyard now. Could fast travel back into Good Springs. But I don't see the point. It's only up here. I don't tend to use fast travel an awful lot. Um, just to let you know. Because I don't like it. Well. It is handy, but um, I uh, I like to explore and I like to run around. And I think that when you if you run from place to place, uh, rather than rely on fast travel too much, you find a lot more things that you would miss out on otherwise. Um, fast travel has its uses, but you do miss out on stuff if you rely on it too much. There we go, some Xander root. I'm gonna head into the schoolhouse. Seems as though there was things in here. A safe, apparently. Yeah, I'm gonna pull my knife out again. Just to show how serious I am. Okay, I could turn my pit boy light off, but they've already they've already seen me. They know I'm here. So And don't want it to get too dark. Come on, you mantis fuckers. Kind of pretty. But you are no match for me. Me and my machete. Machete. Machete amor. Oh, yeah. It is love. It is true love. Salesman Weekly. Um. I don't want any of that. Ooh. Tripping over things. This programmer's digest. Bottle caps. I don't want mantis eggs, thank you very much. Do, do, do. Yeah, so walking around rather than fast traveling, you, you discover more things, like you find more locations and more goodies, and you fight more things and get more XPs. Yeah. 
more likely to find, to come across you know, the random encounters. Uh, I, I didn't actually mean to pick that up. I've already got one baseball glove, I don't need another one, thank you. Um, and especially playing on hardcore mode, I think like hardcore mode makes it like more realistic. Um, so, you know, giving into that kind of realistic element. Not relying on fast travel is a good idea. Uh, scrap electronics, I do need that for something. Okay, so this is the safe. It is an easy lock safe. I don't know why Pete tried to blow it up with dynamite. Um, and there's a terminal here. So you can do either one depending on what you've got your skills in. I have enough that I can do either or. Um, I'm going to do both. There is a way that you can do both. Um, by unlocking the terminal first. Oh! <laughs> Yay! What luck. Uh, unlock the terminal, but don't disengage the lock. Then you get the points for doing the hacking. And you also get the points for... Let me take that. It's going to up my lock pick by 10. Give me enough points to do this. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, your mama too, and your daddy. Really, this is an easy lock. Why are you being such a douche? There we go. Fuck you. Fuck you very, very much. There we go. So you get the points for doing the terminal and for the lock as well. Extra points, double points, all the XP's. See, I'm not, I don't claim to be an expert at this, but I do know a few little hints and I'll give you what tips I can. Hello, Mr. Big Horner. My, your horns are very big and you're only a young Big Horner, but you're a horny little devil, aren't you? Mm, yes, horny little devil. Mr. Big Horner. Uh, there are houses here, and you can get goodies from going in the houses if you are uh, sneaky and steal them. I'm going to be careful in this house here, though. This is the house of the lady that um, we rescued down there. Is she in? Is she home? Howdy. Yeah, there she is. Well, you still not got that leg sorted out? Why don't you go to Doc Mitchell and get your leg sorted out, woman? Jesus Christ. Um, you have to be careful because she moves around the house an awful lot. And if she spots you uh, stealing something, she will become hostile. And she will attack you. I've had this happen. And um, see, I want to be hidden because I want this Chinese Spec Ops book. Uh... Because that will permanently increase my sneak by three. Um, she is in here, so I'm not going to go in there. Um, I'm going to leave that. I don't want it. I will take these though. Um, I've got a feeling. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think that's Trudy's gun, and um, she's gonna need her gun a little bit later, so I don't want to take it off her. Fuck you! I'm still looking for. I need a Patriots cookbook for something that we're gonna be doing a little bit later on, and. It's a pain. It's quite difficult to find. You don't often um, find it lying around Good Springs or in the thingies. Sometimes you have to go somewhere else to get one. Stash toolbox. I will take them. Just have a teeny little look around um, before we head back up to the Graveyard to get. There is nothing in here. Well, what's the point in this? 
Um, I have to remember to keep an eye on my hunger and my um, H2O as well. I've looked in that one, haven't I? This is easy Pete's house. Uh, he shouldn't be home. He should be up at the thingy. Um, I like to come in here because he has a Really? There we go. He has a BB gun. So buff out. And a teddy bear. Like it's a house that was made for me. There's a... Uh... Oh, no. I don't have anything that I can... I'm going to have to go to the store in a bit. And Okay, so... I've got enough goodies, I'm getting over encumbered, so I want to go to the store anyway before we head back up to the cemetery. Because I want a shovel. That's right, I want a shovel. Ba, 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 ba. My Harley Express drop box. Um of items to any Mojave Express drop box you've discovered. Once you find a drop box, activate it and basically those things are like the magical chests in Resident Evil and uh, if you're over encumbered you can send things to different locations and pick them up when you get there. So you can fast travel. You can't fast travel when you're over encumbered. 